So if you're someone out there who's lost a parent, just know that it is your responsibility right now, especially if you love your parent or claim to love your parent, it is your responsibility to be the Sadaqa Jariya for them. So if you truly love your mom or your dad and if they passed away, may Allah have mercy upon them in the grave and make it easy for them, Ameen. It is your responsibility as the child to do things for them uh, so that their, their experience or their stay in the grave is much more lighter and much more sweeter. Uh, we ask Allah Azawajal to make our uh, graves from gardens of paradise. Ameen. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Ah, Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so grateful, thankful, and humbled that you decided to spend some of your time here with me. As you can see, we got the podcast popping over here. And before we get into this emotionally charged uh, video, here's a word from our sponsor, SQ Lopez. Here in my garage, just bought this new Lamborghini. It's fun to drive up and down the Hollywood Hills. But do you know what I'm more proud of than these materialistic things? Knowledge. Specifically, my love for the Quran. Knowledge. Habib got the dub for his dad and then retired. Today's video is not going to be very... I, don't, I haven't watched the other people and other YouTubers and what they plan on making a video about for Habib. Uh, I will tell you this though. Um, this video is definitely going to be about his dad and my relationship with my father or the lack of a relationship with my father and him not being in my life and opening up to you a little bit about that. And I feel like in years past, I would have just made this about Habib and his dad and his love that a father and son have and not exposed you to the fact that, you know, this is really touching to me and it hits home for me. Why does it do that SQ? Well, because my relationship with my dad was non-existent. And in fact, it was an actually very abusive relationship with, with my family and seeing him, you know, beat my mom, my sister, myself. It was a very difficult circumstance and situation to be in. But that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. And maybe anyone who's in an abusive household or has dealt with it or perhaps even knows someone who's been through it uh, can vibe with this video. Um, but it, like just seeing Habib's love for his dad was just beautiful. And I, I have no doubt, you know, Allahu Alam, obviously, but I have no doubt that when Habib says that he is retired, that he really means that he is retired. He put his gloves down. He put them in a nice little assembled order, mashallah. And he's saying that he is done. And he said that he promised his mom. And he said that I don't go back on my word. So my, my mother, I promise her it's going to be my last fight. And if I give my word, I have to follow this. Bring how much money you want and make him look like an even more better person, mashallah. You're gonna, UFC's gonna come, hey Habib, we got a $30 million deal and he's just gonna be like, nah, I promised already. And that just brings his honor even more, mashallah. So, I was watching this interview and in where, uh, you know, he was giving interview, he was giving an interview and then someone, uh, he said, yes, let's talk about my father. Let's talk about my dad. My father, not only my coach, this guy, my father, you know. And, uh, Can you talk about You him? guys, can, can like no understand how I love my father. Let's talk about my father. I like this. I like this. We have, who have question about my father? <laughs> please, please. I want to talk about my father. No, only about father. No, no. I want to talk only about father. Please. Yes. No, I want please. No, please. No questions about my dad. No, it's about him. It's like no about my dad. About my dad and. I, I would want to say this to uh, to Habib, like maybe I have a question for you uh, and your uh, for you about your dad. That let's suppose, right? Inshallah, when you meet your father in paradise in Jannah, what would be the first thing that you would like to do? What would be the first thing you'd like to tell him? You know, I, I would be really interested to know that. So, inshallah, if somehow Habib can answer that question, that'd be dope, right? Um, but leaving that aside, because they never asked you the question, so I figured let me ask you, right? Leaving that aside, I wanted to talk this uh, <clears throat> to you about this because the love for his dad was extremely immense, and it was heartwarming to see for a lot of people. And it hit a chord, it struck a chord with me personally because I know with my dad, the relationship was non-existent. Um, my father's not in my life anymore. And um, seeing the value that his father brought to him made me sort of wish the fact that I had that in my life. You know, to, to, I, I wish I had that type of, you know, a wall, that type of uh, grounding, that type of foundation and where you have a dad where, listen, the dude loved his father so much that, you know, he didn't want to fight anymore. And, you know, as, as you can see over here, we got the podcast set up. Mashallah. Let me get out the way. Mashallah. And that's Dr. Ray. He's going to be doing the podcast together. Stay tuned for that. Um, <clears throat> but I was telling Dr. Ray, 
uh, about this. And uh, I told him about like he didn't even want to fight no more. He was talking about how uh, when his mom passed away, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on everyone. Um, he feel like he didn't, he didn't want to return back to the city that he was born in, right? That his mom used to live in. And that's how much disassociation you can have with certain areas and topics and uh, situations because you lost a chunk of your life, a chunk of yourself to some degree, you know? So seeing what he has and what he's lost, it's understandable that the desire for UFC, that you could see a kid proud that just wants to make his father proud in, in the eyes of Habib. And now that his father is gone, he knows that he's made his father proud he won the last thing he stayed undefeated which would make his father even more proud and the greatest thing that he's doing for Habib is doing for his dad is that the dawah he's doing the rewards that he's doing the sadaqah jariyah that he's doing because he loves his father so much that he's doing all these good deeds so that his father benefits in his own grave subhanallah that is the love of a true son uh, a true child who loves their parents so if you're someone out there who's lost a parent just know that it is your responsibility right now especially if you love your parent or claim to love your parent and it's your responsibility to be the sadaqah jariyah for them so if you truly love your mom or your dad and if they passed away may Allah have mercy upon them in the grave and make it easy for them ameen it is your responsibility as the child to do things for them uh, so that their their experience or their stay in the grave is much more lighter and much more sweeter uh, we ask Allah Azawajal to make our uh, graves from gardens of paradise ameen the reason it touched the chord with me, guys, is because I didn't have a relationship with my dad. You see, my relationship or my memory that I, I, I have of my father is really negative. Uh, it was an abusive household, and it, it, just seeing the, 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 the level of my father going through this process of, uh, you know, first uh, abusing my mom, and then as my, myself and my sister got older, uh, le lending that abuse and that abuse bleeding into us, uh, it was, it's really disturbing, you know, and... Um, uh, if, if you're a parent out there somehow and you're somehow watching this and Allah brought this message to you because you're abusing your family, maybe f if not physically, but maybe emotionally or mentally, bringing them down, dragging them down, calling your children failures, calling your family a failure, calling you know your wife incompetent or something of that nature, just know that... Allah has given you a family as an amana, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can take it away in a split second. Don't think for a second that you can't, it can't be taken away like you're untouchable. You're not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could remove everything from your life to teach you a lesson. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have to remove things from our lives so that we can value our families and things that we love. And He doesn't have to test us with things that we love by taking it away before we learn to uh, appreciate them, you know? So seeing, seeing this, it made me wish that I had that type of father presence in my life because of look how he turned out but alhamdulillah i think i turned out pretty good too even without you know a father uh in my life alhamdulillah but one thing that my father did teach me um through the abuse through all these circumstances and situations was how not to be a father and honest to god that's a lesson that i would never have had if i didn't see with my own eyes what a father doesn't look like or what he isn't supposed to uh do so i'm grateful to my father and he's forgiven wherever he he he, he might be i don't know where he is may allah bless him i i don't know right but I've forgiven him. I, I don't hold any grudges or animosity towards him because I don't know what was going on in his life when he was going through that. I don't know what he was going through or dealing with mentally, emotionally, spiritually while he used to take it out of me, my family, my mom, my sister. I don't know what he was dealing with. You know what I mean? Things could happen. You know, I, I, and I don't know his circumstance or situation. Uh, but I'll tell you this. I'm grateful to, to the fact that he showed me what a father shouldn't be doing. And now that I have the opportunity to be a father to two beautiful, blessed daughters of my own, I've learned that I cannot be him. And in the beginning of my life, I used to be really resentful towards my dad. And I tried my best to not be my father. But the more I tried not to be him, the more I became him. So instead, I started asking myself, well, what are these qualities that I'm trying to avoid, right? And I asked myself, well, why am I trying to avoid them? And I started working these issues out with myself. I started asking myself, well, why isn't this a good quality? Islamically, how can I get better? And sometimes when I get angry at my children, I see glimpses and flashes and previews of my own father. And I put myself in the situation of my daughters that wow they must see this monster yelling at them but I'm like wow I remember having that same memory of my father and I don't want that to be for my children so if you're a parent out there 
please, please, please. And, 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 and you have children. And even if you're not abusing them, subhanAllah, you know, be nice to your family. Be very, very good to your family. And the, the, the sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was he was the best to his own family members. Like, think about it. If someone had to complain about you, it'd probably be from your family. Not from the mask that we put on when we go to the masjid and people think we're so, such good brothers, mashallah. No. Ask my wife how I really am and you'll get an honest answer. Ask my mom how I really am and you'll get an honest answer. So when we hear about the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and no one had anything negative to say about him, you're like, subhanAllah, indeed, he is the Messenger of Allah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Send salawats on him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this was my video guys uh, I, I pray that those who were supposed to benefit from it did benefit from it I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings this voice and this good news and this message to the ears that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted uh, uh, this message to hit uh, those ears and, and their lives are improved and I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us the best to our family to our spouses to our children and makes us uh, or allows us to follow in the characteristics and uh, and the footsteps of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I appreciate you all listening uh, and watching this video making to the end of this time uh, if you haven't checked out some of my other content please click these videos right over here um I think that's all I got to say right now. I am working on another social experiment for the iPad questions giveaway. So if you think you have some question ideas, drop them in the comment section below. I read and respond to all comments. Uh, but until next time, I'm out.